Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd paint a train and some trees and maybe a rhododendron, but it turned out to be an azalea. I hope you like my video and if you do, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and thank you very much for watching. I've painted all my favorite things again, old steam trains, a Victorian viaduct, some beautiful ornamental trees, I've put them all together in this picture. I stuck in some sailboats and water. I love to paint water. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you'll give it a try for yourself. It was a lot of fun to paint. And um, I'll just carry on and show you how I did it. I did my first little sketch in an exercise book and then I did it on tracing paper which is how I usually do all my sketching so it's easy to transfer and then I put it on a canvas panel and um, went from there. A palette of water mixable oils. I have titanium white, cadmium yellow light, raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and elizabeth. Using French ultramarine blue and titanium white I paint the sky and water. I'm doing laundry today so I have to do a voiceover. Um, at this point I'm putting paint on the canvas. I'm mixing, uh, I think it was raw sienna with some alizarin to get this brownish red of the Victorian brick. And I'm putting in uh, the greens of my trees and I'll be working on the tree trunks. I haven't really got that left hand side well resolved. Uh, so I have to really work out where my trees are. I sell prints of my work on Caroline's Art on eBay. Part of the proceeds goes to some of my favourite charities. At this point I decided to put in a sort of greenish background for my tree trunks. I um, thought that would be the best way to do it because I had a bit of a muddle on there to tell you the truth and um, it just wasn't um, looking um, very exact. Uh, I wasn't sure at this point where my trees were going. So I mixed up some sap green cad yellow light and put in a um, generalized green background vaguely um, well, just a background, really. I like to get uh, paint on the canvas and I put in the colours where I think they will end up. It's not always the way it is. And in my mind, I have some lovely ornamental trees on the right hand side, um, a view of the lake, and some wilder trees on the left hand side as I'm looking at it and um, I've got my paint on the canvas and, and so I start putting the details. I'm using French ultramarine blue and um, raw umber to give me a nice dark for the engine and um, that cool truck thingy and um, the rest of the train will be a sort of brownish colour. I'm not getting very detailed with any of it because it's in the distance. You don't really see it that well. And it's just a, a little train crossing a very high bridge.
I've mixed a pale grey using French ultramarine blue, raw umber and some titanium white and I'm going to sketch in my trees. Wish me luck. I usually get all the details worked out before I ever start painting. I don't know what I was thinking today. I've been looking at videos of Japanese gardens and seen some really lovely ornamental plants. I'm going to have to do a painting of a Japanese garden one of these days. I decided that this might be a reflection in the water or it could be a marshy area. Um, I think it ended up quite marshy if I remember the picture. I'm just using a greyed down titanium white to give the impression of smoke coming, streaming out across the top of the carriages. I'm using cadmium yellow and titanium white to put some light on these um, cypress trees or cypress trees. I never know how you pronounce that. For the shadow side, excuse me, I mix in um, French ultramarine blue with the sap green and sometimes a little yellow um, just to give a, the darker um, areas and make it look rounder. This is one of those ornamental gardens. 
I'm going to use an old bristle brush um, to put in the foliage on the treetops. Um, it works really well for things like that. I've had it for years. To be honest, I very rarely throw a brush away because it could always be used for something. You can clip hairs from things to make something finer. Um, all kinds of things you can do with old brushes. Don't chuck them out. I've mixed um, sap green French ultramarine with a little uh, raw umber in here. I'm just going to put on the darkest uh, foliage first and then there will probably be two or three shades lighter to go on over the top of this. I'm going to put a slightly lighter shade on with um, a little yellow added to the sap green and some um, titanium white and that will lighten it up and I'll probably add more white as I go along and do a, a, a third or fourth layer. I'm putting in some stepping stones. Every um, garden has lovely stepping stones going down to the water, don't they? In my gardens they do. I feel that the sunlight would be catching um, certain spots on the tree trunks. So I'm using cadmium yellow light and little white. You always have to put in your shadow to show up the light and um, I like to use French ultramarine blue and raw umber for that purpose.
I was planning to put in rhododendron plants. I looked at a lot of them on Google Images and um, they're a lovely flower but um, then as I dotted on the pinks I thought it actually looks quite like azalea plants. I used to live in Georgia and that's the land of azalea plants I tell you. Um, and I kind of like this effect so I'm going to go with azaleas for this one. I was very Im impressed with the um, rhododendron flower. Um, it's one of those round uh, balls of um, individual florets and they are such a beautiful delicate flower so I will paint one of those one of these days. I'm using alizarin, magenta, I think I have some uh, permanent rose on there as well and titanium white for the lighter pink. I'm adding more light to these tree trunks and I quite like this effect. I think it makes the trees look very solid um, and um, like they're catching the sunlight. I like that. Water's horizontal, isn't it? So I'm putting in some um, some pure titanium white to try and um, make it read like water. Um, I wasn't sure whether that was a green bank or a sort of reedy, marshy area down the front there. But um, I have to work on it a little bit and see how it goes. I'm a pretty loose painter so um, my bridge might annoy some people because it's not 
and won't ever be very precise. By extending this red um, down between the trunks of the trees, um, it makes the trees stand out against the red. And these viaducts usually have quite a lot of arches in them, but I'm pretending that we can only see three. And maybe it's come to the end where it meets the um, surface of the ground. It's all pretense at this point but um, I think it makes my trees stand out anyway and that's the important thing to me. I've looked at a lot of um, pictures of Japanese gardens recently and I love the ornamental plants they use. I know uh, we see a lot of them in um, English gardens of, you know, aristocrats those lovely houses you can pay to walk around the gardens and they always imported beautiful trees so um, I admire them so this is what I'm trying to um, show I'm using a French ultramarine blue and raw umber for the shadows I don't get into the nitty gritty detail of the brickwork. Um, I just prefer to um, put on um, stronger colour here and there, um, shadow colours, lights and darks, and that will give you the impression of brickwork. I know I'm always saying the impression of something, the impression of birds, the impression of trees, whatever. Um, it's just because I don't paint with any great detail, but I wouldn't call myself an impressionist because I, um, I don't think my painting is that sophisticated. I like to call myself an expressionist because I'm expressing art in my way.
the actual painting time of this um, piece was just over 50 minutes, like 50 minutes and 40 seconds, something like that. I've cut it down by a couple of minutes. Um, but I don't paint all in one session. I paint a little, I put the painting somewhere where I can study it, and then I watch YouTube or something for a little while, and then I figure out what I'm going to do next. I couldn't stand and just paint non-stop for 50 minutes. Um, I like to um, contemplate my work and see what's missing, see what I need to do. I'm putting in a, a horizon line two thirds of the way up um, the arches. I couldn't figure out where to do that, but I figure two thirds is about right. Um, I'm going to put some little boats in there. It looks right to me anyway. It's pouring with rain outside, I don't know if you can hear it coming down, but anyway, um, I've decided that these train carriages needed um, some strengthening. They're a little pale, you can barely see them. So I'm using a mixture of raw sienna with a little uh, alizarin in there to give it that sort of reddish colour. When I was a little girl in England, I think the colour of the trains uh, depended on the region that you lived in, and I'm pretty sure they were green carriages where I lived, um, but I'm not 100% sure, and I've got a lot of green in this painting, so I'm changing them to that brownish red, and I like that colour too, it doesn't stick out too much in the painting.
I'm just dabbing around now, putting on my um, lights, reinforcing the darks in the picture. The picture's mostly done other than that. For the most part, I try to be organized. I try to start off with sort of a mid-tone and get paint on the canvas and then do lights and darks. Um, I'm not always that organized though. So um, you'll see me do odd things if you watch my videos for long. I'm not doing um, tutorials, I'm just sharing my own painting experience. I like to paint a couple of pictures a week for my channel, um, but it's not hard work for me. I would be painting anyway, <clears throat> and I'm always working on something, either a painting specifically or sketches and ideas for a painting. It really occupies most of my time. It's quite an absorbing hobby for me. I found some lemon yellow among my paints and I've added titanium white and just adding a little more to those tree trunks. I think that looks good. I'm going to use this little fan brush. It's made of bristle and I'm going to um, use sap green, a little ultramarine blue and um, add in some grasses just in the foreground and I'll also go over that again with some yellow and titanium white to um, add lighter grasses. Um, I think that will add to the texture of the painting, give it more depth. I've decided that this area is not grass, it's a sort of reedy, um, marshy part of the 
um, for sure. After looking at it for a little while, I realised I had not put the reflections of the um, bridge in the water. And it's things like reflections in the water of trees, whatever is uh, surrounding it, clouds, that make water look watery. Um, I'm not always 100% happy with my water, but I watch videos on YouTube to see how other people do water. And I think I'm getting better at it, actually. So I'm adding a little light to these stepping stones, but other than that, I think the painting is mainly finished and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Um, it's my impression. It's got all the things I like in the painting. Um, it's not actually anywhere except in my head and I've enjoyed painting it. I hope you enjoyed the video as well. And um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because that helps the algorithm find my channel. And that helps me a lot if you could do that. And thank you very much for watching. quite like the way those azaleas turned out but I did look at a lot of rhododendron pictures and I think I might be painting those next. I have to wait for my alizarin crimson to come from Amazon. Anyway, bye for now. See you again.